35 miles southwest of London, the 2014 Farnborough Air Show is underway. We are glad to welcome you to Farnborough via Airbus Direct. We'll be here all week, and we hope you will continue to be our guest for all the news, all the excitement, and of course, all the flying displays. The air show got off to an exciting start Monday morning, with UK Prime Minister David Cameron officially opening the show. Even before the show opened this morning, and before the first aircraft took to the skies, news was already flying in Farnborough. Airbus announced two much-anticipated new models of its popular A330 aircraft. The A330neo, or new engine offering, is definitely the buzz of the show, promising to provide airlines a 14% reduction in costs compared to today's A330. In addition, Airbus announced orders from International Airlines Group, or IAG, for 20 A320neo aircraft to be operated by British Airways. An order from leasing company ALC for 60 A320neos and 25 of the new A330neos, and an order from leasing company Aircap for 50 A320neos. Of course, every air show is really about the airplanes, and visitors to Farnborough in 2014 are being treated to several from Airbus. In addition to static and flying displays of Airbus's new A350 XWB and the iconic and always popular A380, Farnborough is playing host this week to the Airbus A400M transport aircraft and Airbus Group's experimental E-Fan Demonstrator, a completely electric aircraft. Good afternoon, or good morning, or good evening. Wherever you are in the world, we're glad that you're here with us on Airbus Direct. My name is Clay McConnell, and on behalf of all of my Airbus colleagues around the world, I am very pleased to welcome you to a beautiful opening day of the 2014 Farnborough Air Show. It is a gorgeous day in the English countryside, and it's a perfect day for flying. We're glad you're here with us. We will be here, in fact, all week with Airbus Direct. You can join in every day and we'll, you can check Airbus.com for the broadcast times, but we'll also try to let you know what they're going to be a day ahead as well. In addition, to stay on top of all of the Airbus news that's taking place here, be sure to visit Airbus.com as well as all of our social media channels. Airbus, as you know, is present on Twitter and Facebook, Vine, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. The flying display today is going to be terrific. We're going to see the Airbus E-Fan in just a few minutes. Electricity will literally be in the air. We will get to the chance to see the Airbus A380, the super jumbo that everyone loves to see fly. We get a special treat also in that we have the Airbus A350 XWB flight test aircraft. And lastly, the Airbus A400M transporter. It's a great day to, to be at Farnborough and the flying display should be getting underway just in a very few seconds. So, the news of the day, of course, has been the A330neo, which launched uh, earlier today. Already gotten some orders from ALC. And the A330neo is an extraordinarily efficient aircraft. And in fact, we're going to have an opportunity later to hear from our expert on the uh, Kieran Rao on the A330neo. Uh, Neo. Of course, as I mentioned, we're going to be here all week. We'll be featuring interviews with Airbus hosts with uh, technical experts, with flight test pilots, with executives. You'll want to come back every day because in addition to the flying display, we in fact will have something new to offer every single day. First up in the flying display is going to be the Airbus Group's E-Fan. As I mentioned, electricity is quite literally in the air or soon to be in the air.
Thanks for joining us today. You've had the opportunity to see the Airbus Group eFan, the Airbus A380, the Airbus A350 XWB, and the Airbus A400M. What a treat it has been to show you these great aircraft today in this beautiful flying conditions at Farnborough. We would like to welcome you back to join us tomorrow at 2.30. That is 2.30 London time, so wherever in the world you are, you can do the time zone comparison. But please do join us because, as I say, every day is going to be a different experience. Be sure also to check in for throughout the day and throughout the entire Farnborough Air Show on Airbus.com and on our social media channels for the latest. And now, as we wish you goodbye, I would like to present to you Airbus's head of strategy, Kieran Rao, for some insight into the A330neo announced at Farnborough just today. Today we're announcing the A330neo. The A330neo is, of course, uh, taken from the A330. A330 being one of our most successful aircraft in the Airbus widebody family. We've sold over 1,300 airplanes. We have nearly 100 customers worldwide. This is one of the most successful airplanes in the widebody category that Airbus has produced. In fact, the world has produced. And what we're doing is we're making this aircraft, which is already great, we're making it better. We're launching it today because the, the airlines really want us to get this aircraft to the market. They want us to do this quickly, and we've developed a program over 42 months to deliver this airplane to the airlines, and we need to start quickly. So that's why we're launching it today. Fuel burn is extremely important to the airlines, and we've learned that from the A320neo. The A320neo is one of the most successful airplanes, having sold over 2,500 airplanes uh, since its launch in 2010. And what the airlines have asked us for is improve fuel efficiency. We already have a great aircraft with the A330. The airlines love the airplane. They love the cabin. They love the range capability. They love the flexibility of the aircraft. But they need fuel efficiency. To compete in the world going forward, they need fuel efficiency, just like they did on the 320. And with our partners, Rolls-Royce, together with the aerodynamic improvements, the weight saving, the improvements we're making to the airplane will deliver 14% fuel burn improvements per seat. That's very significant when half the operating cost that an airline has today is fuel. So saving 14% is a major improvement. The A330 has sold, today we've sold over 1,300 airplanes. We've sold 900 of those airplanes since the launch of the 787. So the 330 has continued to compete very well with modern generation aircraft. But going forward, we see that all the aircraft that we've sold will all need to be replaced. We see that 340s, MD-11s, 767s, all have a replacement wave starting in 2018. If we put all of that together, we take the growth that the airline industry is seeing, not just in Asia, China, in North America, Europe, put all the world average of the growths together. What we see is that we could sell over 1,000 A330 NEOs. So that's a great market for us to be in, and I think it'll be a very successful program going forward. The A330 has been a great success, and now working on the A330 NEO, what we'll see is we'll take the best airplane, make it better, and have an airplane program that will continue well into the 2030s and beyond. Thank you.